Trouble grows between Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Since their decision to leave the royal family, and move to the United States, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have faced a mix of triumphs and hurdles. One of the more significant setbacks includes the cancellation of their exclusive Spotify deal, alongside rising concerns about the stability of their Netflix partnership. Royal commentator Tom Quinn has noted that these difficulties are creating a struggle for the couple. After stepping down from their royal duties, Harry and Meghan secured a five-year agreement with Netflix. While Meghan is preparing to debut a new show soon, there is still no word on whether their Netflix contract will be extended. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. There is a growing rift between Harry and Meghan caused by Meghan's increasing concern that her life is not going in the direction she had planned, she loves media attention and hates the fact that surveys suggest she and Harry are no longer of much interest to the American public, he told the Mirror US. With news that the couple's Netflix contract may be under threat, along with the mockery that greeted the launch of her online brand, Meghan feels very much under siege. With news that the couple's Netflix contract may be under threat, along with the mockery that greeted the launch of her online brand, Meghan feels very much under siege. Meanwhile, Meghan launched her lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard, but has yet to see any sales. The brand, which was introduced in March, had kept details under wraps initially. It has since been revealed that the brand plans to sell kitchen and homeware appliances, oils, nut butters, jams, preserves, and home fragrances and furnishings. In a bit of an odd turn of events, Prince Harry will be honored with an award on Thursday night during the annual ESPYs show. Harry will be given the Pat Tillman Award for Service, which is given to someone who uses their presence in the sports world to positively impact the lives of others. Harry is getting it due to his work with the Invictus Games, an international multi-sport event for wounded, injured and sick men and women of service. He's definitely doing right by many people, but the decision to award him has come under controversy. Even Pat Tillman's own mother criticized the decision, saying that other hard-working individuals should have been recognized instead. Harry is willing to accept the award, and he will be joined on stage by someone who should have his back, Serena Williams. The tennis mega star will be the host of the ESPYs and will likely be slightly off to the side while Harry receives the award. Williams has been friends with Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, for quite some time. The two apparently met at a Super Bowl party in 2010, and have stayed in close contact since then. With Williams by his side, Harry will at least have one person supporting him while he takes possession of the award. As controversial as the decision may be, his role as the founder of the Invictus Games shouldn't be overlooked. Prince Harry and Doria Ragland, Meghan Markle's mother, are speaking out about the height of the Duchess of Sussex's problems inside the royal family. In the fourth episode of the Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan, which debuted on Thursday, Ragland said, I remember her telling me that, that she had wanted to take her own life. That really broke my heart. Ragland then connected Meghan's mental health issues to how she had been treated by the world's media. Ragland then connected Meghan's mental health issues to how she had been treated by the world's media. I knew, well, I knew that it was bad, to just constantly be picked at by these vultures, just picking away at her spirit that she would actually think of not wanting to be here, she added. That's not an easy one for a mom to hear. And I can't protect her. Harry, can't protect her. I was devastated, added Prince Harry. I knew that she was struggling. We were both struggling, but I never thought that it would get to that stage. And the fact that it got to that stage, I felt angry and ashamed, he continued. I didn't deal with it particularly well. I dealt with it as institutional Harry as opposed to husband Harry. And what took over my feelings was my royal role. 
I'd been trained to worry more about what are people gonna think if we don't go to this event, we're gonna be late, he added. Looking back on it now, I hate myself for it. What she, Megan, needed from me was so much more than I was able to give.